Quintana, who looked pretty good in his first uh, outing as a Met here, is that somebody that can draw some interest if the Mets do, in fact, sell? In fact, he already is drawing interest. Uh, I learned that over the past couple of days. We've been mentioning these other names that Tommy Pham and Robertson and Canna and guys that are obviously, and Scherzer and Verlander to an extent, guys that are on the team. Uh, but scouts have been on Quintana through his entire rehab. He made five rehab starts for minor leagues. Teams have been scout. A couple teams have been scouting him the whole time. Uh, scouts were there at City Field today. Obviously impressed by what they saw. You know, he was leaving pitches a little bit up in the first inning, but he was still getting it in and jamming guys to prevent hard contact. And then as the, as the game went on, he really found his command, and we saw why he was a desirable guy in the offseason still at this point in his career. He knows how to pitch. He competes. Good stuff, good precision, good command. Uh, so absolutely, if he continues the next time or two to pitch like he pitched today, there will be interest. Now, the question for the Mets is going to be, they control him for next year, like with Canna and Brooks Raley. So they have to, and, and Scherzer and Verlander, of course. Right. So they have to take a hard look at what does the 2024 20, uh, rotation look like? Who's out there in the pitching free agency market? Can we replace Quintana? Could you replace Scherzer? Because they're going to want to be right back on the horse and contend next year, of course. So if you're trading Quintana, you better get something back that means more to you than having Quintana next year.